Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger, we're back in our video. This one's going to be about seven ways or gateways for demons to enter in unclean spirits. I made a part one to this video about a couple weeks ago, and this is going to be part two. I might make a part three to this because a lot of, I mean, I could, I could think of like a lot of things that could be, you know, open doors for demons. So this is part two. If you haven't seen part one already, I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is very informative because a lot of people are unaware that they're, they're dealing with unclean spirits. Uh, dealing with demons in America, especially in over here in Babylon, these spirits are roaming around. And a lot of people are opening doors. They're doing it unwillingly, unknowingly, I should say. Uh, they don't know that certain doors through sin is allowing Satan, allowing these demons into their life, into their households, uh, into their families, their children, or even them themselves. Okay, doing certain things. So I'm gonna go in, not just with witchcraft, but there's a whole bunch of things I'm gonna go over. So number one is random sex and fornication let's read the scripture with you guys so this is in 1 corinthians chapter 6 i'll leave a verse right here so you guys read along so it says that 1 corinthians chapter 6 verse 15 to 17 so it says know you not that your bodies are the members of christ shall then take the members of christ and make them members of a harlot god forbid what know you not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body for two said he shall be one flesh okay uh verse 18 to 20 that was verse 15 to 16 so it says flee fornication Every sin that a man does is without the body, but he that commits fornication sins against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not for your own. For you are bought with a price, therefore glorify God with your body. Okay, so when you're out here fornicating, you know, you're just out here having, you know, sex with any random person you meet. Just, you know, because if you see everyone else doing it, you see everyone else doing it, so you think it's cool to do. Um... Or you think that there's no consequences to doing that. I mean, you got to understand there's something called soul ties. So especially as a woman, when you're engaging yourself with multiple men, uh, those spirits and those men are going to jump in your body. So whatever demon that's in them or whatever demonic spirits in them is going to jump in your body. And that soul tie is going to be with you for the rest of your life unless you get deliverance. You know, a lot of people, they're not really trying to get deliverance because the only way you could get delivered is by fully surrendering your life to Christ. And not many people do that. So they have all those spirits with the 10, 20 men they slept with for the rest of their life, unless they surrender their life to Christ. And also man could get soul ties too, but it's a lot easier for us to break free because according to the Bible, the woman is a weaker vessel. Okay, so uh, you gotta be very careful as a woman out here when you're out here, you see your homegirls doing it. And especially if you call yourself a woman of God, and if you're friends with you know what the Bible calls harlots, what the world calls hoes, Okay, birds of a feather, feather flock together. So if you're surrounding those type of people, those type of friends or even families, family members, you know, and they're doing that type of stuff. That's why it's important to be set apart and understand this, guys. Fornication, just having sex with random people uh, is going to open doors for demons in your life, demonic soul ties, whatever demons that's in that person, guys. That's, sex is powerful. It was, post, it was Sex was created for... Um, of course, man and woman, but for wife and, uh, and wife and husband, that's what it was for. So when you're out here just having sex with some random person you just met, um, there's always consequences to that. Okay. Now, of course we all sin and fall short of the glory of God, but we don't want to sin willfully and we don't want to open those doors, uh, knowingly without any type of repentance and, you know, just having the random sex. That's what's being promoted. Okay. Satan is using these rappers, these celebrities, because they know, Satan knows that people, he, people will worship them. People love celebrity drama. They love, for whatever reason, you know, idolatry, idolatry that's in their hearts and the people of this world. Satan knows that. So he, he uses his puppets to push, you know, sex, to push warmongering, to push fornication, to push materialism, and people fall into that snare. Okay. So that's what the Bible says, God says, to be set apart. So you won't fall into this snare. Okay. Number two is pornography and masturbation okay pornography and masturbation a lot of people are unaware that that's also another form of fornication okay when you're out here explain let's talk about pornography real quick and that's why guys uh, especially for the brothers i have multiple videos like over 50 videos uh, called semen retention no fap uh, monk mode and when you're out here watching porn you don't understand you're, you're making covenants you're having soul ties with the devil himself okay uh, the Bible says, I will set my eyes upon no wicked thing. Okay, that's in uh, Psalms. And you got to understand that when you're when, when you're watching this, it's very spiritual. You're now engaging with demonic strongholds in your mind. The more you watch that, the stronger that demonic stronghold is building in your mind. The churches don't really talk about this. People don't really talk about this. But guys, yes, pornography is demonic 100%. It's going to open doors for unclean spirits in your life. And you're going to actually have, you know, let's say if you get your wife, right? You're not going to be able to enjoy sex because you're... 
you have programmed your mind to watch it on the screen. So you're not going to even be able, you'll be 20 in your 20s and your 30s and you can't even get it up because you, you your mind is damaged. Your mind has been corrupted. Okay, so always keep that in mind, guys. See my retention. If you guys don't know what that is, I have many videos on that. It's pretty much um, no porn, no masturbation. Uh, you're pretty much just taking a break from, you know, all sexual activities. It's kind of like another word of celibacy. And you're just focusing on your purpose because when you're a senior as a man, you have a lot of energy. So you want to be transmuting that energy to doing something positive in your life. Okay. You're on your purpose, self-improvement. Um, and a woman could do this too as well. So always keep that in mind. So masturbation too. Um, you got to understand when you're doing that, oh, we always, you know, opening that door. That could also open portals into your life with demons and devils. So always keep that in mind. When you're, you think that you're watching porn or you're masturbating, you think that no one's in your room, you, you lock the door. Uh, your mom, your mom and dad is sleeping, whatever sleep, whoever's in your house is sleeping. And sure, they might be asleep, they might be gone. You might just be in your house alone. But there's demons that you're opening and they're watching, and you're just giving them access into your life because you opened the door through willful sin. So, guys, always put on the Lord Jesus Christ so you won't fulfill the, the lust of the flesh. Always keep that in mind. This is this is another thing that's being promoted, and there's a reason why Satan makes watching porn free. Okay, this is all an agenda. Satan knows what he's doing. It destroys marriages. It destroys your life. It destroys your life. And you know, people who engage in pornography, they there's they can't have it's not that they can't have sex. The sex with them is not it's never good because they already destroyed their mind. You know, and that's why it's very important to take the oath and to, of celibacy and forget about leave that all the way. Even the Bible says, when I became when I thought I was a child, I did things as a child. I thought I was a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Uh, porn, masturbation, uh, all childish, childish things. All right, number three. Oh, also, before I go into that, I want to give you guys a verse, okay? So for those who struggle with this, this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. So it says, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband, okay? So if you struggle with sexual morality, you should be praying and asking God to, to help you fight against that uh, sin and to strengthen your spirit. Maybe you got to start fasting. Maybe you start start praying. Uh, you know, living a life of repentance, you know, building your spirit up and then wanting to seek a husband, wanting to seek a wife. Now, you must prepare yourself before you can have that because you don't want to be struggling with certain, you know, lustful spirits. And, you know, you get your wife and your husband and all hell is going to break loose because Satan doesn't like when two people to come together and when God's bringing two people together. So he's going to make sure any type of door you're open, Satan's going to try to destroy it. But whatever God brings together, let no man separate. All right. Number three is um, also there's another verse. But I'll read that later. And number three is tarot card. This is why I see a lot of people who watch my channel. It's a lot of witches. <laughs> it's a lot of witches and wizards and warlocks who watch my channel. And they they do this type of stuff. All right. They do the tarot card reading. Okay. And you got to understand, this is opening gateways. This is opening doors for demons, demonic spirits. The spirit of divination is one of the most demonic spirits on this earth. Okay. Now, I know it's not the most, but it's one of the most. Okay. It's one of the most deceptive seducing spirits on this earth divination okay this is in deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 to 14 so it says when thou come into the land which the lord thy god give thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations okay those nations being the heathens okay there shall not be among you anyone that make his son or daughter to pass through the fire or use divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch okay or a charmer or a concert uh a consolator with familiar spirits or a wizard wizard or a necromancer but all that do these things are an abomination unto the lord and because these abominations the lord thy god do drive them out from before thee okay verse 14 says for these nations um these these for these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto the observers of times horoscopes and unto the uh, div, uh divinators but as for thee the lord thy god has suffered not to do these so okay so that is what the heathens do the unbelievers Okay, the pagans, they, they they do the tarot card readings, they do that, but you gotta understand as a child of God, as a warrior for God, as someone who's you know, belongs to the body of Christ, or at least who's striving to stay on that narrow path, you can't be doing this. This is opening demonic satanic doors into your life, into your family, especially if you're married. Now, I, to anyone who wants a, a challenge, you know, because there's a lot of people, a lot of witches who want to challenge me, okay? I challenge you to put down the tarot cards for three months. Watch how the spiritual warfare is going to turn up. Watch how Satan and the kingdom of darkness is going to attack you. Because when, when you leave, when you give up the darkness, when you give up Satan's devices and all that type of stuff, he's going to attack you. So watch. If you think I'm lying or you think, oh, I'm just being religious, okay? I, I promise you, you give this up for three months, 
Stop watching the YouTube videos, throw away in the trash can, and watch how this Satan and these demonic minions are going to attack you. Guys, please share this video. Please like the video so this pushes down the algorithm because there's a lot of people who do this and they're lost. Okay, we were all once lost, and because we had the light of Jesus Christ, we could inform people to avoid these certain spirits that are coming into our households, our family, our friends, our loved ones. So we must give up the tarot cards and readings and all that. All the YouTube people you're all subscribed to, don't even watch that type of stuff. Number four, okay, a lot of people have told me, you know, Mark, do you try psychedelics? And the answer is no, uh, never. Someone just mentioned me, hold up. So yeah, the answer is no. Psychedelics are shrooms, LSD, acid, DMT, all that type of stuff. All that opens doors for demons. Now, of course, to uh, popping pills, anything that that you no longer sober minded. That's what the Bible says in one Peter chapter five, verse eight says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversity, the devil, as a war in line, walked about seeking who he may devour. OK, so when you're doing things like drug use, you know, smoking and psychedelics, you're actually opening your vessel up for demonic possession, guys. So. Be very cautious. I know a lot of people struggle with smoking weed because that's another thing that's being promoted. Another thing, another device that's saying is pushing out into the masses. Uh, just no one's to people not to be sober minded because when you're not sober minded, you're unaware of spiritual warfare. You're under you're unaware of what's really taking place in the spiritual realm because you're just high all day, okay? Or you're on the psychedelics, you're tripping out. You're not even you're not even in reality no more, okay? So this is what Satan wants to do in your life, okay? He wants you lost. He wants you deceived. He doesn't want you to come into the light. So, yes, guys, psychedelics and drug use all got to be avoided. Remember, be sober, be uh, watchful because the enemy, the devil, seeks for someone to destroy. All right, number five is abusers of themselves for man oh, mankind. Okay, I can't actually say this word because as you guys, if you guys don't already know, for those who are subscribed to the channel, when you talk about certain things, you get, okay, you see where I'm trying to go. But this verse right here is talking about the LG, okay, the LG, the LG, so okay. I hope you guys see where I'm getting at. Okay, so I gotta play it safe on YouTube, man. It's sad, but uh, this is one Corinthians chapter six, verse nine to eleven. So it says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor uh, nor uh, adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind." Okay, that's talking about the LG. Okay, nor thieves, nor convenience, nor drunkards, nor revivers, nor thieves, or yeah, nor thieves shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now check this out, verse eleven. And such and such were some of you, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and the Spirit of our God. Okay, so that means that we 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 did some of this back in the days, guys. We you know myself included. Okay, I did some of this, but because I gave my life to Christ, I surrendered myself to Him. I became clean. He cleaned my body for the, the soul ties. Uh, he gave me the spirit so I don't fall into these, you know, I don't, I don't no longer have these type of addictions. I've been free. If, if you, then you'll know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Okay. So yes, like I said, guys, I can't say the actual word, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm trying to go at. The LG. Okay. All right. <laughs> Verse six is crazy, man. Crazy times we're living in is sinful habits. No repentance, willful sin. Yes, guys, sinful habits. Uh, now, of course, the Bible does say if a man says he's without sin, he is a liar and the truth is on him. But when you're given over to willful sin and the Holy Spirit is convicting you, you got people convicting you, you're watching YouTube video that's convicting you and you don't feel any need to repent. Uh, you don't feel any need to seek the Father's face, the Most High's face and ask for mercy and grace and the spirit to help you strengthen and fight against your flesh and to, you know, to be strong in the spiritual war. OK, this is where demons could come in and, and destroy you. Okay, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27, neither give place to the enemy. Okay, when you're living a life in willful sin, you are giving your place to the devil to destroy you. Okay, number seven is low frequency music and the words that come out of your mouth. I know a lot of religious spirits will say, you know, Mark, frequencies and vibrations, that's new age. But best believe the devil knows. That's why when you listen to music nowadays, you, what's being promoted in the music? Uh, lust, sex, drugs, uh, alcohol. Uh, killing, robbing, stuff like that, right? That's being promoted. That's all low frequency. When you're listening to that type of music all day, guys, I'm telling you, that could open demonic doors into your life when you listen to that type of music. And Satan knows this. That's why every time you turn on the radio, every rap music you listen to, any hip hop song, that is being promoted. You no longer have the day and the age where, you know, people will make uh, music on like baby making music. Now it's just, oh, I smash her. I smash, I'm on this. You know, it's a, you know, you don't know how it is. Okay. And this is all done by design. This is all done by saying Satan knows exactly what he's doing. Okay. And also the next one up is the words that come out of your mouth. Okay. 
We all know what the Bible says. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof, okay? When you're speaking, you, when you're speaking curses out of your uh, mouth, you know, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to even say it, okay? When you're saying stuff like sad and, um, you know, you know y'all know how that's depressed and, you know, or you might even say in certain words, you guys, you guys know, okay? You guys have to be conscious of what's coming out of your mouth, what's coming out of your tongue, because you could open the gates of hell through your tongue. Just like you could open blessings, you could open blessings, you could open life through your tongue, you could also open demons to come in your life and destroy you. Okay, so these are seven gateways for demons and unclean spirits. Okay, number one is random sex or fornication. Number two is pornography and masturbation. Number three is tarot card reading, divination. Number four is psychedelics and drug use. Number five is abusers of themselves with mankind. Number six is sinful habits, no repentance, and willful sin. And number seven is low frequency music and the words that come out of your mouth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have already, make sure you guys smash like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.